Hi, welcome to Besides Lisbon, uh, the edition, 2017 edition. I'm here with Bruno Morrison. Uh, Bruno, uh, talk a bit about um, uh, Besides, uh, well, this year edition of Besides Lisbon. Well, this year edition is, is a bit different than the previous ones. So this is the fourth. Uh, we started in 2013. Uh, so me and Tiago, uh, Balgan, have uh, the idea of, of having a Besides here in Lisbon. Uh, so it has been growing, growing. Uh, and this year it's a day and a half. Uh, because you also wanted to have a specific track for the CTF, which is mm -hmm. running today uh, in, the, in one of the rooms. Uh, so that's that's the main difference. Uh, also, we were able to create something that is uh, what we call the beer sides, the Lisbon, <laughs> which is based on an idea by the guys from Manchester, uh, from besides Manchester. They, they did a beer sides there. And I thought the idea was cool. So after the talks today and the CTF, we'll just hang out exactly here where, where we are uh, yeah. speaking. Uh, there's a bar, there'll be beer and, and lightning talks and food and so on so that people can hang so out. Beer, so beer, food and hacks, so everything, yeah, everything in place in place for, for, for a nice yeah. evening. And, and amazing weather also. It is. Days. So we are in Lisbon, we are <laughs> yeah. in, uh, at Mac Microsoft headquarters here in, in, in Lisbon. Um, you just mentioned this is the fourth edition yeah, of fourth Besides Lisbon. Yeah. So can you just uh, do a quick roundup of what happened in the previous three years, what's going to be this year? So you, t you mentioned that this, we're going to have the mm -hmm. Besides Lisbon, but also what do you you kind of uh, are looking for the, for the next year or for the next years? Well, honestly, we, we take a, a great account into what people, the feedback people give us. So uh, just in the opening session, I, I said it and I'm going to say it throughout the event that people need to give us a service. It's really important. So one of the things was people, people wanted, uh, uh, they really enjoyed our CTF, which was running like uh, during the conference. Mm -hmm. So people could just join and do mm -hmm. the, the CTFs and people wanted, well, I can't see the talks because I'm doing the CTF and so on. Uh, so um, that one and the fact that people uh, said that wait, well we, we wanted uh, more time not just one day how about two days so we're trying this year we're trying slowly. like slowly one day and a half having the CTF on its uh -huh. own on its own track so this is basically the main difference for the next year we'll see the how, how things are go Progressive. go this year yeah. how people react and the feedback they give us so I don't know maybe two days uh, right. full two days so, so the feedback know. is rather important for you yeah. guys to also. Yeah. Try to figure yeah. out what worked, what didn't work, and exactly, try to improve exactly. it yeah. for the next times. Okay. Um, so, uh, w w what's the main goal of the B sides, right? So, mm -hmm. for for people out there that actually mm -hmm. don't know what, what the B sides event is, yeah. can you just quickly yeah. describe what is it? Uh, quickly, basically, the, the B sides events um, uh, started at B sides Las Vegas in uh, 2011, uh, <laughs> I think. 11, I think. I'm not mistaken. And they uh, they started exactly B sides like uh, in the in the old days, there were the LPs and there were the A-sides and the B-sides, which were the songs that yeah. didn't get into the, the, the A-side. So uh, basically, they started the, this B-sides conference doing Black Hat briefings and, and DEF CON, and they did the B-sides. So a lot of talks that weren't accepted to those conferences, but still were very good and, and should be uh, presented to, to, to the community. And, and that started to grow throughout other countries and other cities. And uh, and basically that that's the main idea to have a, a place for usually local communities to mm. create those, those conferences. Uh, of course, we also have uh, people from from other countries, although basically in our in our case from from uh, Europe, uh, and try just to have, to have a community gathering where people can not only see talks but also hang out and and uh, know each other and, and so. On. Okay. Um, you mentioned that we, so we're gonna have, so on this piece sides on this edition you're gonna have uh, people from uh, all over Europe probably mm -hmm. from even from countries outside of Europe. Um, we have a lot of Portuguese people as speakers mm -hmm. here. Uh, they're gonna use English as main language. Yeah. So I'm guessing that one of the probably one of the goals is try to improve also the local Portuguese community out there and push yeah. that. Um, uh, but for the so imagine me as a as a non-security people as mm -hmm. a, a guy that actually doesn't understand a. Um, a thing about security. Should I come to this event? What can I learn from here? Is it going to be useful for me, or is it I just think for it's, specific it's, yeah. people around security? I think it's it's uh, it's usually a bit techy in our case. I think each besides it's it's a bit uh, its own thing. But ours is a bit techy because the main organizers are, are <laughs> geeks and techies, so we like the the bits and the bytes and the, and the stuff. But I think there's there's uh, a lot for 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 everyone. We even have workshops since last year. We have uh, usually three workshops, and it will be this year again. Which you can and you have different things. One is like a threat managing a threat management platform that that, uh, uh, that you can use, and you'll learn how to use it. Another one for a little bit of basics of web uh, web app application uh, security testing. Another one about um, uh, malware analysis. So there's a bit for everyone, and even the talks are of, of all, all, all types of 
of uh, of knowledge. So I think there's uh, unless you don't work in IT, of course, that yeah, probably you won't get anything out of here except having fun, perhaps, and having a few drinks and a few laps. But if you work in IT and you have uh, the slightest interest, interest in security, I think it's there's a bit for it's everyone. Going to be a good yeah. event. All right, okay. So just to wrap up, uh, this is going to be the first half. So. So this, this is not two days, this is one day and a half. And a half this is yeah. the first, the first half, half yeah. of the event. Um, uh, one third of the event, actually. Yeah, exactly. the, 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 the other two thirds are going to be tomorrow. So um, we're just going to start, probably going to do a wrap up tomorrow mm -hmm. after the event to just yep. catch along, just to see what, sure. what was the general feedback of the, of the event and what, what to, do we expect for the next edition. So um, anything else that you want to tell people about B-Sides rather than just enjoy the weather and... Enjoy, enjoy the weather, it? enjoy B-Sides, just... Uh, Come over, hang out, and let's have some beers later on. And excellent. And, <laughs> and, and the one thing, what's what's with the with the with the this? Okay, right? so I, I went, this was yeah. quite. I'm going to speak about this tomorrow at the opening session, but oh, I'll right. do a, a small spoiler. So the idea, I, I am not, I'm not even sure when when this came up, but we saw uh, this this disc and thought it it would be really cool to have a, a floppy disk as. A, as a badge, because last year we had a, a small device that had Wi-Fi and so yeah, it was, on. Yeah, yes. And you wanted to, to do something, uh, well, So are, are you expecting analog. us to have a, a computer to put this disk on? Yeah, basically that's a challenge, <laughs> is to <laughs> read what's in here. So they, 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 should, they shouldn't work, they, at least they were sold as non-working, which All may right. not be true. I don't okay. know, I have no idea. But uh, uh, the main, the main uh, thing and, and the, the real reason, at least on, on my part, that I thought it was a great idea is because there's a lot of people that had never seen something like this because we were a bit, uh, well, a little like one or two <laughs> years older than a lot of other people that yeah. are around. But uh, people that were born in the 80s and the 90s never saw, never this, saw yeah. this and never used it. Uh, I Sh did. I learned Should Pascal. Should we expect a real so, B-side cassette next year as a badge? Yeah, it would be fun. With, uh, uh, we, we thought of that also. in 69 from yeah, Brian Adams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't find, actually, it was one of the ideas, but we didn't find enough to buy and to, to use. So this oh, one we was need, easier. We need to get those um, cassette <laughs> tapes from uh, the Spectrum Times. Yeah. Remember? It would be really fun. Yeah. I have a few at home. And it, each one of these badges, they all have um, uh, labels, so they yeah. have fun stuff. So each each badge is unique. So it's also something yeah. that you. All right. Okay. Fun. Excellent. Thanks yeah. very much. Bro. Thank you, Peter. Right. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.